Guys, so today we are going over our mega set from Army Painter Fanatic. Um, here you see the display stand that comes with the mega set if you pre-order it. I don't know if it's going to continue to come with it, but for now it came with that and it ended up coming with an extra brush. Um, here we have the <coughs> unboxing. Sorry, I'm, this is my first video where I do a voiceover. I'm not very confident with this. Whatever, we'll get through it and probably two or three months from now you'll be like, oh wow, you sound like shit before, but you sound a lot better now. So here I'm showing you the brush that comes with the set. It doesn't come with the set. Actually, there's a like a triangle one that comes with it. <coughs> you here, see me dropping it. This is the brush that came with the pre-order that I didn't know was gonna come with another brush. You see me fin finagling with the plastic. I'm keeping all this audio in. You guys are gonna have to fight through it. It's a 12 minute video, so just, just push. This is me trying to do my first uh, unboxing. So here I'm going through the guidebook that came with it. They did update this guidebook to cover um, the Fanatic line, which is nice. They also have a display of all of the colors. It's 316 different colors and some effects, uh, washes and things like that. Um, it's a pretty good book. If you go to any place that is a, a licensed reseller for Army Painter, you should be able to pick up one of those books for free. Here's a little flyer letting you know if anything gets messed up. Just contact them and they'll replace it. Some stickers. Um, definitely going to stick these on my laptop like I can do with everything else I get. Here's the paint station that comes with the pre-order. And we have all the paints. It was a little damaged. None of the paints were um, had any problems. It was just the packaging, which is perfectly fine. I wasn't going to keep it in any anyways. But we do have all 50 paints. Um, you can see right after I finish reorganizing that, um, there's the additional brush that comes with the mega set. I'm pretty sure the brush is going to stay with the mega set. Every set the Army Painter pushes out comes with at least a brush, if not a model or something like that. Um, so we have all 50 paints. There's some metallics in there, some effect paints and washes. Focus on the paint station that comes with the mega set pre-order. I'll be assembling it. I didn't find any good videos on um, YouTube so far on assembling it. Army Painter does have a bigger uh, paint station with its own dedicated video, but I figured I'd use this time to really just test my hand on tutorials. And um, yeah, I'm gonna cut out a lot of this audio to be honest, but I need to practice, so here I am. All right, here I am opening up the packaging. Um, honestly, it's pretty straightforward. The first piece has A1, A2, a3, A4. Um, the second piece has a couple pictures to show you what to do. But I didn't speed this up. I just wanted to take the time right now to show you guys exactly how to assemble it. I did go back and add glue after. I think I'll probably just overlay some music to not bore you guys and just keep you guys in this video so I can eventually get monetized by YouTube and then quit my day job and just spend all day painting like a real man. Um, pieces came off pretty easily. It's actually really nice thick. Um, I believe it's MDF. Came apart easily. Struggled a little bit on this part just because I wasn't sure how uh, sturdy it was going to be. But, yeah. We'll just sit here in awkward silence if I don't figure out how to put music on this. Um, right now is a good time to tell you guys to subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell notification thing, do all those things so that 
you can come back six months from now and be like, wow, you've really, really improved. Let's see, I was trying to figure out where to put that. Then I move things around. It fell, dropped a couple of paints. Okay, I'm trying to show you where it says A1. We get A1 and A2. Easy, pictures go on the outside, not too hard. I don't know why I'm making this look so difficult, but you guys will probably be a lot faster. You'll actually see right here I mess up even though I have instructions right in front of me. I go to put, um, it was like A5 when I should have gone A3, A4. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what I can do to improve, um, what you want to see from the set, from modeling. If you guys go through my YouTube, you see a bunch of, um, most of my content is 3D printing or painting, or 3D printing, painting 3D printed products. That's right. Um, next video after this, I have my first sponsor as well. Um, it's an airbrush company. I'll put a name of it in the description and an affiliate link so that you guys can check them out. Yeah, I tried doing that, but as you can tell, I'm dumb. Cool. Pieces slide in really smoothly. There's a bit of a click in them, which is nice. Make sure to go back and glue it. I did a dry fit first, and then all I did was really just pour glue in those little cracks. All right, so after this part, so the top part that I put down holds the brushes. That bottom tray that's right there, that helps the brushes from stopping from falling all the way through. Um, honestly, pretty nice engineering on this thing. Like. It's very simple. I think this total took me about like eight minutes to put together. And I was really just making sure I wasn't hitting the camera, um, going through every piece, making sure that I put everything in the video as like centered as possible. Um, I had multiple times where I had to adjust this paint station to put it back in the um, like center of the video because I completely forgot that I'm doing a YouTube video for this. Um, yeah, everything clicks in very nicely. Right after this, you just go B1, B2, B3, B4, um, B5, and those are all the trays that hold um, the paints themselves. Again, I'm not gonna fast forward this just so you guys can see how much time it actually takes. Probably should. Might make another video of this later. or just speed it up a little bit so you guys can get a better easier tutorial to look over but first video 12 minutes if you guys are still this far like just comment bluey is cool or something in the comments um yeah each of these very simple you put it on that left slot first and then you push it down and then you move on to the next one at this point i'm finally getting my groove Realizing, oh, maybe I can't make this a career. Who knows? Um, uh, dude, I really don't even know what to say. I don't know how people make tutorials. And they have all this energy. They're all excited. I'm, I, hopefully someday I get there. But yeah, here I'm freaking out, hoping I'm not going to break it in half. Just like embarrass myself in front of hopefully hundreds of viewers thousands millions of viewers i don't know you guys share this um but yeah we're basically done now we put on the other side i'm just trying to get all those little pegs on the same level so that when i put the end cap it goes smoothly um right there on that side you see the flexible triad system with the 50 paints, you do get a lot of the triads, 
but you don't get all six colors per triad. So I do have the complete set coming in next week. So I'll go over the 216 paints. That'll probably be a longer video so I can show every paint. I'll show the name that the army painter came up with, where it fits in the triad, and then the like actual color. Because some of these will say like grayish blue, um, yellowish green, things like that, that make it just like easier to look at, easier to understand which paints to go to. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually like getting out of breath too, trying to do this um, this voiceover. I really hope I get better at this. Cool. Right here I'm done. That's it. Looking at about, I don't know, maybe six to seven minutes to assemble it. But that's it. I mess around with it for like another 10 or 15 seconds just trying to make sure it's as tight, tight as possible before I put in the, the glue. I can probably cut this part out of the video, but it's already here. I'm already doing the voiceover, so we'll just keep listening. You can see those holes a little bit better. Um, I'm smacking it like it's my, I don't know. And there you go. Yeah, those are the brushes that I bought when I bought this set. And then one of those brushes came with it, and the one to the left also came with it. And just showing you that there's random holes you can use for like whatever brushes you need. It doesn't have to be just Army Painter. And here's the finished product. Fits all 50 paints, brushes in the back. Um, really nice. I'll probably use it for a while. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my my speed paints on that and then I'm gonna make something bigger for all 216 paints. But this is good for the next couple weeks. Yeah, thanks for listening to me.